How about that? All right, next up we have Warren Redlick. Warren originally hailed from upstate. He now lives in Gilderland. He's a Stanford University master's degree holder, we, but we won't hold that against him. <laughs> He's known as a troublemaker in Albany, and he runs a blog called Stop Wasting Money. Big hand for Warren Redlick. Now, uh, I'm, I'm sorry I'm wearing my Rice hat. I went to Rice University first. But, um, yeah, one thing, to, my name is Warren Redlick. Uh, you probably won't have any trouble hearing me. I know some speakers have been hard to hear. I have a feeling you won't have trouble hearing me. If you ever want to find out about me, all you have to do is Google stop wasting money. You'll find out more about me. I was told that there's no politicians at this event, and I wanted to give you three reasons why you can tell I'm not a politician. Number three, apparently my sex life is not that interesting. <laughs> I've never been caught with a hooker. I've been married to the same woman for darn close to 15 years. No, no illegitimate children yet. So that's, that's, that's number three. Number two, my dad was not governor. He, he was not president. My dad was never elected to anything. He was a good guy, but he was never elected. And number one, I've never been convicted of a crime. Thank you. Now, I came to talk about New York State. Back in December, some friends of mine asked me to take a look at New York State, and I actually read the budget. It's over 500 pages long. Now, my theme is to stop wasting money, so I figured, well, geez, I should see what we're spending all this money on. And I kept going through and going through. Page 370 is where they start telling you where they're spending our money. Page 370. And I found some very interesting things. First of all, this is not in the budget, but I, want I ask people to guess how much the head of the New York Public Library makes as a salary. And people will guess 100,000. Somebody will say 120, 150. Some people start to get a hint, I'm going somewhere, and they'll guess a quarter million because they think, okay, it can't be more than a quarter million. $689,000 a year. $689,000. It's a big library. It is a big library. Some people think that's a little bit too much. There are 90,000 bureaucrats in New York State, state, local, county, public authorities, school districts, 90,000 bureaucrats who make over $100,000 a year. Oh my God. Come on. That many. Now, one of the things we've talked about is we could cap bureaucrat pay at $100,000 a year, and the answer is, oh no, we can't do that. We won't be able to get good people. The, the Metropolitan Transportation Authority, it's the transit system, in the, the bulk of the transit system in New York City, they had in 2008 54 people, made over $200,000 a year. Now, they must get good people, right? That's why they're losing half a billion dollars a year. You know what? We could replace them with people who only make 100000 I bet we could lose half a billion a year. So, you know, that's one of the biggest things is that we really can do something. And you'll hear answers from people about, oh, we've got to freeze, we've got to lay off teachers. That's one of the big ones, right? We're going to let teachers go. My school district, they're going to let go 22 teachers. They're going to let go of 36 special ed teaching assistants who are really cheap and really important. But not one administrator is going to be let go. It's the no administrator left behind policy. So, and I looked at the budget, and I, into the budget I found this. One of my favorites is the Office for the Prevention of Domestic Violence. It sounds really good, right? State Office for the Prevention of Domestic Violence. The number one mission is to advise the governor. Now, i got a question. Did they advise him to tamper with a witness in a domestic violence case? Violence case? That, the number one thing he had to deal with in domestic violence is administration. Don't tamper with witnesses. Apparently, that's not working. Maybe we can let that one go. The Commission on Corrections, it's $3 million a year. Their mission, according to their website, a three-member deliberative body, that means they talk, meets monthly to discuss corrections issues. You take me and Mike and Ken, we can do it for $300 a year. Somehow that costs $3 million a year. $3 million a year. There are things that we can do. 
to fix the budget of New York State. And the answer, the one everybody here believes in, when people talk about the Tea Party, we're racist, we're this, we're that, what we all believe in is that we should stop wasting money. Thank you. And those are some examples of how we can stop wasting money. And there are so many more. So many more examples of ways we can stop wasting money. That's what New York has to do. I'm a big supporter of the Constitution. I fought to make sure Ron Paul was on the ballot. There's a lot of things we can do, but there is one core theme. So my name is Warren Redlick. I'm going to get out of here. I don't know how much time I have left, but I'm going to use it. I think I've done enough. I think I've done enough harm. Um, <laughs> Warren Redlick, stop wasting money. Thank you. Thank you, Warren. Lauren Redley.